music be the food of love, play on. So begins William Shakespeare's play, Twelfth Night. Orsino goes on, give me excess of it, that surfeiting the appetite may sicken and so die. That strain again. This is not only a speech, but also stage direction for when the musicians should play and stop playing throughout Orsino's monologue. Music was central to performance of Shakespeare's plays on the Elizabethan and Jacobian stage. Sometimes references are clear and direct. In Twelfth Night, Act Two, Scene Three, Sir Toby asks the clown to sing a love song, a love song. And printed in the text, we see that the fool sings, Oh, mistress mine, where are you roaming? Heard here in the background. Many songs used in Shakespeare's plays were popular pieces of his day. In other examples, music instruction is less obvious. In Act 5, Scene 1 of Merchant of Venice, Lorenzo says, And bring your music forth into the air. How sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. Here we will sit and let the sounds of music creep in our ears. Soft stillness and the night become the touches of sweet harmony then an instruction, enter musicians. Come ho and wake Diana with a hymn. With sweetest touches, pierce your mistress's ear and draw her home with music. Again, the text reads, music. Jessica retorts, I am never merry when I hear sweet music. While we may not know exactly what music is called for here, certainly sweet music and enter musicians tell us both the audience and the stage director, that music on the stage should occur. Further, references to soft stillness, sweet harmony, and music into the air probably indicate certain types of instruments and not others. We know a mainstay of Shakespeare's stage was the broken or English consort. This group usually included six musicians playing wind and string instruments, transverse flute or recorder, violin, viola da gamba, citern, lute, and bandora. Sometimes Shakespeare calls for loud music, usually referring to instruments played outdoors, double reed instruments like shams, early oboes, trumpets, sackbuts, early trombones, and drums. Often these are to denote battle or royal fanfare. At other times, Shakespeare asks for soft music, usually meaning the indoor instruments of the broken consort or other combinations of string instruments like viols, violins, and plucked flutes. Shakespeare's world and his plays were filled with music by instruments and voice, and these onstage tunes were often well known to his audience, both the lower class groundlings as well as merchants and upper class people able to sit in the covered balconies of the Globe Theater. We hope to be back soon to delve deeper into the music of Shakespeare's plays.